I've had a freaking day, man. I'm wrecked. So I get off work tonight at 6 o'clock, right? And I'm like, all right, I got to go home. I got to go to sleep because I got to wake up tomorrow early to go back to work. I have a nine-hour shift tomorrow. And I'm thinking, all right, I gotta, I want to just go home. I don't even want to do anything. But then I remembered, oh, shit, I was supposed to make Sloppy Joe tonight. And my Sloppy Joe, Teching 101's famous Sloppy Joe, is renowned in Western Pennsylvania as objectively the best kind of Sloppy Joe. However, I needed one of the key ingredients, which are pickles. I need my pickles. So I go in Dollar Tree, and there's no pickles left. I'm like, shit, all right, I'm just going to go to Walmart. So I go to Walmart, and they didn't have any pickles. And I'm like, shit, pickles. I need pickles for this said Sloppy Joe. It is simply the key ingredient. I need the pickles. So I'm going over my option. I'm like, where am I going to pick up pickles this late on a Saturday night? I ask you. So then I remembered, wait a second, they just opened up a new store down the road called the Pickle Hut. And I'm thinking, yeah, man, that's where I can get my pickles. So, and, and it just happened to be open. It only is open on, on Saturday nights between the hours of 6 and 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, that is fucking perfect. So I drive down to the Pickle Hut. And, I mean, they went out. They went all nine yards on this. I mean, the freaking governor and the senator were there on the ribbon-cutting ceremony. I mean, they, the freaking place was packed. So I go into the freaking Pickle Hut, and they have every single kind of pickle you can imagine. They got dill pickles. They got sweet pickles. They got sour pickles. They got barbecue pickles. They have cheese pickles. I didn't even know you can do do that they injected the cheese directly into the pickle they got freaking bacon pickles that's bacon wrapped in a pickle and pickles wrapped in bacon i don't even know how they can do that but they did it so i go in there and i pick up the secret ingredient for the sloppy joe which is of course sloppy joe pickles and i'm thinking okay i got that i also picked up some barbecue pickles and some cupcake pickles you know just for me later and i like the snack on the cupcake pickles you know, with especially with the pickle flavored frosting. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. So I go in there and I buy my pickles and I'm walking out of the pickle hut and I'm thinking, man, this place is freaking awesome, man. And I'm walking out of the pickle hut and I see across the parking lot there's a clown. And I'm thinking, oh my god, of all nights for me to run into one of these crazy ass clowns, it had to be tonight, man. And the clown, he started walking towards me. And I'm thinking, shit, man. You know, any other day, I would, you know, encountering a clown, you know, I, was, I, I can maybe interview for them for my YouTube channel or whatever, or, you know, but, you know, I'm just like, I'm not in the mood. I just, I have to get home with my pickles, and I have to make my sloppy joe, and then I have to go to bed, man. I have work tomorrow. So I go up to this clown, and this clown, he just kind of stares at me for a second there, and then, before I even blink, he reaches in and grabs my pickles, and he runs off with them, and I'm thinking, fucking dick, man. So... I, I, I can't go back in. These were expensive pickles, man. I can't buy more of these. So I'm like, I'm chasing this clown down. So I like I throw the cart to my side, and I start chasing this clown down in the middle of the fucking parking lot. But I have to be careful not to knock him down because I don't want to freaking break my pickles. So I'm running, and this bastard's opening up the cupcake pickles, and he's just shoving them in his mouth. And I'm like, fucking asshole. So I run up to him, and I pull out a flashbang out of my pants because everybody has a flashbang in their pants. I mean, you have one too, right? And I toss that fucking thing, and it just poof, right in his head. He drops all the pickles into the air, and I grab the Sloppy Joe pickles, clown drops on the ground, and I walk over, and I take one of the cupcake pickles that he didn't eat yet, and I shove it down his clown gullet, and he chokes to death on this fucking cupcake pickle. And I'm thinking, that's for stealing my goddamn pickles. So, I kick him upside the face, and I walk back to my car, I get in, pickles are safely acquired, I put them in my passenger seat, I buckle it, and I drive away. I got home, I made my Sloppy Joe, it was absolutely fantastic, uh, and now here we are, man, I am wiped, I am just wiped from today's events, it's like, I just want to go to bed, because I gotta wake up tomorrow, and I gotta go back to work, and I'm just, I'm destroyed, I couldn't even think of a good idea to tell you for the veto, I just, I couldn't even come up with a good idea, I just wanted to tell you, like, like, like guys, this is what happened to me today, fuck it, I'm done, I'm going to bed, whatever, later. Just don't let a clown steal your pickles. Just don't do it, all right? Keep an eye out, okay? Fucking clowns.